Welcome to MLab or Vajika Laboratory, where we explore ways to bring our ideas to life. Whether it requires a bit of traditional arts and crafts, to even using advanced technology such as 3D printers to bring our ideas to reality. I'm your host, Nisha McCray, and today we'll be making a project inspired by the Lego Movie 2, the second part. Roll the clip! Oh, the pain. It's getting so cold. Emmett, what are you doing? Hooray! See, that wasn't so bad. Nothing got in. Ah, something got in! I'm a queen, whatever I would not be. I'm getting super evil vibes here. I could change my form to something else if this makes you more comfortable. Hey, guys. No, go back. The horse was much more palatable. In the Lego Movie 2, Bricksburg is invaded by an out-of-this-world villain, Queen Whatever Wanabi and General Mayhem. After watching the trailer, I was inspired to make a little mayhem of my very own. As someone with a killer sweet tooth, I decided to make a General Mayhem-inspired cookie. In order to make my General Mayhem-inspired cookie, I'm going to create my very own cookie cutter, like this one right here, to deliver the mayhem that I seek. To begin, we need to pick a component or aspect of general mayhem that we would like to, for lack of a better word, cookify. I've been quite captivated by general mayhem's wings, so I'm going to choose them to be the component to be transformed into cookie form. Now, to create a sketch of general mayhem's wings, I'm going to use my pencil and iPad. Feel free to use whatever you have. First, I'm going to use an image of General Mayhem in order to trace over her wings since I'm not an artist and can't do this freehand. Once I have an outline or sketch that I'm satisfied with, I'm going to export my sketch into a CAD software. CAD software, or Computer Aided Design Software, is a program that allows for us with the assistance or aid of computers to design fantastic objects, whether it's a keychain or a jet engine. For our General Mayhem cookies, we are going to use a CAD software in order to transform our sketch from earlier into a 3D model, also known as a CAD model. In order to do so, we will first need to import our sketch from earlier into our CAD software as a canvas. Just like a painter and an actual canvas, we'll be using ours to paint a masterpiece. In terms of CAD software, we are using Autodesk Fusion 360, but you can use any other CAD software such as Tinkercad, SolidWorks, or Rhino. Using the sketch tool, we will use the line tool to trace the straight components of General Mayhem's wings. Next, we will use the arc tool in order to trace those pesky rounded edges and weird half arcs. Finally, we will use the circle tool in order to complete tracing the middle of her wings. At this point, we have a basic 2D trace of General Mayhem's wings, which would look like this in reality. Just a piece of paper. But now we need to make her wings 3D by adding another dimension to General Mayhem's wings, depth. Next, we need to extrude or pull the sketch from a simple 2D model to a 3D model using the extrude tool. Given we want our cookie cutter to cut the edge of General Mayhem's wings, we want to extrude her wings at a height greater than the inner parts of her wings. For the inner parts of General Mayhem's wings, we want them to leave a soft imprint on our cookie dough, like this cookie stamp right here. Hence, we want to only partially extrude the inner parts of General Mayhem's wings. In order to transform our CAD model into a 3D printed cookie cutter, we need to send our CAD file to the 3D printer. We're using a Dremel 3D20 3D printer, but you can use a wide variety of 3D printers, from very inexpensive models below $200 to complex gargantuan $10,000 machines to bring your CAD model to life. In order to use our Dremel, we're going to <coughs> save our CAD model, since you should always save your work. 
Next, we are going to send our CAD model to a 3D printer slicing application, a piece of software that will translate our CAD model into instructions known as G code for our 3D printer. This will allow for our 3D printer to print the thousands of pages or slices of our CAD model. Finally, we will save those instructions onto our SD card, insert into our 3D printer, load and build. Now that we have our 3D printed cookie cutter, we can get started making our shortbread cookie dough. Here I already made my famous, well, famous in my house, shortbread cookie dough. Using a rolling pin, I'm going to roll my shortbread cookie dough to about a quarter inch in thickness. Next, I add a little bit of butter to my 3D printed cookie cutter and press down firmly into my dough to cut an outline of General Mayhem's wings. Then gently lift the cookie cutter. Now lift the wing. And place on a baking sheet. Continue to do this until you have the desired number of wings. Place your General Mayhem cookies in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes. While we're waiting for our cookies to bake, let's check in on another MLab project at the Hawthorne Youth and Community Center, featuring another surprise character in the Lego Movie 2. Can you guess the character? Here's a hint. The sea is calling. Today's MLab workshop at the Hawthorne Youth Community Center was centered around two major films. The first one being Spider-Man Into the Spideyverse, which we use in order to explore computer-aided design, or CAD. The second one being around Aquaman, in which we explored electronics using a couple of prototyping techniques. inspired by that movie. Oh, I want to do that. Yes, so that's the project we're going to do. So the CAD models we come up with in Tinkercad, we can transform it to physical things by sending them to a 3D printer like that. The Hawthorne Youth and Community Center actually has this in residence. Come by and actually 3D print something. If you click the box, you can change the length, width, and height. So what else do I need to change? You need the height. The length, right? Yeah. The height is this way, right? So I need to change the length. Now, we're going to select and click the mouse and drag it across everything. You got it. Um, you can be For the second project, around Aquaman, we decided to get hands-on with some electronic components that may look familiar to some of you, including switches, batteries, alligator clips, jumper wires, and even a few breadboards. The result is to have a glowing trident, which you will be proud to use to call the sea home. 
So let's break down what's in your mystery boxes. Oh, these are batteries. batteries. Yes. These so are batteries. So this is a coin cell battery. Say it with me now. Coin cell battery. battery. Interesting. Now, if we're doing an electronic circuit, there's something we need to turn on, right? No. Yeah. Well, I want you to turn on a light. These lights Ooh. are called something special. Anyone know what they're called? Flashlights. Okay, they can be flashlights. But what is the nerdy name for them? Battery. You know. <laughs> Are you going to say it like that? <laughs> These are called LED. Say it with me now. LED light. LED light. Oh, I know how to do it. Now flip it. There we go. So, okay, press the button and let me know if it works. Me? Yeah. <laughs> go. The reason why we do MLAP workshops in places like the Hawthorne Youth and Community Center is because it's important for the community to understand resources that exist for them to build, make, and learn. If you would like to learn more about Vajika and Vajika Laboratory projects, feel free to check us out on vajika.org. We had an absolute blast exploring electronics with the youth and families at the Hawthorne Youth and Community Center. Special thanks to Oak Labs for laser cutting our mini Aquaman tridents for our participants to bring to life using their own electronic circuits. Now we're just waiting on the toaster oven. Yes, our cookies are done. Ah. Oh. Now those do smell like sweet, sweet mayhem to me. We're gonna let these cookies cool, but in the meanwhile, we're gonna decorate some cookies I already made earlier. While we were waiting for the General Mayhem cookies to bake, I made a batch of royal icing in pearl white and red in order to match the colors on General Mayhem's wings. Using a decorating bag or a Ziploc bag with the end snipped, I'm going to trace the lines in the cookie. Today I'm using a decorating bowl because I'm feeling fancy. With the actual red icing, I'm going to trace and fill in the inside of her wing. Decorate however you like, go for it. Then using my pearl white icing, I'm gonna trace the major parts on the inside of her wing. And voila. I think we now have a cookie worthy of Queen Whatevra. Now for just a little taste. Oh wait, I'm not even dressed for the occasion. Before I bring these cookies for Queen Whatever's Black Excellence Celebration, because even in the Sistar system, we celebrate Black History Month, I would like to thank everyone who helped make this MLab project a reality. The Timothy Smith Network, Autodesk, Hawthorne Youth and Community Center, Oak Labs, and of course, Boston Neighborhood Network. If you would like to explore this project further or even make your own and learn more information about Bajika as well as other cool MLab projects, check out our website as well as our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram where we post about MLab projects like this one and we'll be celebrating Black History Month in a very special way. Now until next time, build, make, and learn.